Is he? Uh, uh, is Sports already come. This season has already come to an end. I'm sure, probably seemed a lot longer to you. But so far this year, 2012, 2013, mm -hmm. as section chairman, how would you rate this season? I think things have gone pretty well. This year, uh, the coaches are starting to get the hang of all the paperwork, all of the uh, database entries that they have to do. And as we get more coaches that learn that, things go smoother for us. And I think overall in section six this year, it went pretty well. Section 6 has a couple top teams. Clarence has done very well statewide. They're ranked in the top 10, probably could be a top 5 school. So you've had some outstanding uh, teams this year for Donia, Falconer. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I think from Clarence's perspective, I'm hoping to see that they get, you know, two or three guys through to the states. They've already wrestled some of the top teams, like you said, over at the UE duels. And they, they've shown that our section belongs among the top teams in the, in the state. And uh, Falconer and Fredonia, of course, Fredonia, perennially every year they have two or three kids at the state tournament, and we hope they'll do well also. Back in my day, uh, there was a confusion. You'd say you're going out for wrestling. Everybody thought of the pro wrestling. That's gone away. The sport's been around a long time. But there's been talk about how the UFC maybe has brought the sport to another level. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because um, what the kids are seeing is they're seeing a lot of former high school and college wrestlers who are doing really well in the UFC. For example, Rashad Evans from Niagara Wheatfield, uh, Josh Koscheck, who was a former um, assistant at UB. He's involved. You have the Jones boys from the uh, Section 4 Binghamton area. Um, and uh, it really does help the sport of high school wrestling because kids see that, you know, you can't punch anyone here, but the, um, the word is out there that you have a good wrestling base, you're going to do very well in the UFC and, and those other mixed martial arts type competitions. We're doing this interview before the finals, so you can't, not going to have you make a prediction, but we should have a couple outstanding young men once again going to the state tournament in Albany next, in two weekends. Yeah, I'm, I'm we have uh, Weber from Clarence who's returning. He did very well last year. He kind of, you know, he was at the state tournament. And this year, he's looking really good. Same with uh, Libertor from Will South. He's looking very tough this year. I'd like, you know, I, I hope he does well at the state tournament. As far as the small schools go, um, Fredoni's got Satan back. Um, we've got some younger kids who were sectional finals last year, like the Shomers boy from Lewport. Um, Drew, the Cheek to Waga, Mr. Spencer from Cheek to Waga, he's going to be right up there. He was second in the state last year. Um, we'd like to see him win it all. Be nice. Now we're with John Hoover, uh, coach at Lewport Lancers. Outstanding season this year. You guys were ranked right near the top of Section 6, Division 2. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know it's, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it has been. You know, it's been a, a, a lot of work from a lot of different people. It's been, uh, I got hired about 13 years ago. We had eight guys in the entire program. And uh, since then, you know, it's just been a, a process of building. We had a lot of, a lot of good people helping us out, and uh, you know, it, it, now we're where we want to be. You know, our, our team went 24 and one in, uh, in uh, dual meets this year, and uh, probably our best record we've ever had. So we're really excited about it. Yeah, Niagara Frontier League champs as well. Mm -hmm. um, John, we were just talking before the camera was turned on. You've you wrestled Niagara Wheatfield High School. You're outstanding high school wrestler, uh, junior college All-American. But at the state qualifier, you had an injury, never were able to go to the state. States and that that's something sticks with you forever doesn't it? yeah you'll never forget that yeah uh, I was in my uh, actually got hurt a little bit in practice a week before I uh, taped it up put a, put an air cast on there went out there got into the semifinals and then uh, tried to balance on it and that was it couldn't go anymore so I had to I had to DQ out of the tournament there but that you know that's something that you know at the time really beat you up you know but but it's uh, you know, something I've always had inside me it drives it drives me to do better you know and then uh, went in a, Community College there, and, uh, and 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 that stuck with me, and said, I, you know, I, I want to succeed and prove that that I could have placed that year in the state tournament. So it ended up being an All-American in that Triple C. So it was, you know, I, I've used it. I've used it. Gotten over. Haven't really gotten over it, but I've used it to motivate me. And how do you share that story with the kids? How do you change your coaching at this time of the year? Uh, I don't share that story with them. They don't want to know about the old-time stories like that. Um, but you know, how do we change it? it how do we change our coaching this time of year? You know, we just, you tell them that this is it. You know, I mean, don't leave anything on the table. Uh, put it all out on the mat and, and, and go for it, you know, and, and don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't have any regrets. And that's what we told them all week, and we've worked hard all week towards that, and it's paying off today because we're having a pretty good tournament so far. Now we have with us uh, UB wrestling coach Jim Beekner. Jim, you're here on your home floor, but you're not watching your team. You're watching some of the outstanding young men in high school. It's got to be great to have everybody here under your uh, your uh, under your home uh, arena. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a good event. Section six championships are always exciting and fun. 
and of course I'm from Section 6, so it's good to be here. Coach can't talk about the individual boys because of the NCAA, so let's talk about UB wrestling. Uh, you're getting to that point of the year where uh, the young men have a chance to go on, get through the uh, league tournament, and then possibly qualify as an All-American, which is everybody's goal. What about a couple of the, the outstanding young men who may have a chance to do well in the postseason? Well, we hope there's a whole bunch of them. But uh, you got to qualify. You have to have a good day. March 10th, right here at Alumni Arena. And uh, you obviously have to have your best matches right there, right at the tournament. And then hopefully qualify for the NCAA championships and do it, do it again the next weekend. But uh, we have quite a few local guys. You know, John Martin Cannon is, uh, is fairly local. He's from the, uh, from the area. And Mark Lewandowski. Those two guys are our favors, favorites. Uh, those two guys should qualify. Uh, they have a chance to win the MAC championships, and I believe they have a chance to be all Americans. You know, you got Wally Maziar's in there, local guy here from Tonawanda, who's been really doing very well for us over the over the last couple of years, and uh, you know we expect a lot from him. Angelo Mavasudo, he had a broken hand; he was out for about six weeks, but he's just back on the mats. And again, we think that he's going to do very well here. He should be fresh and ready to go. Uh, March 10th, you said the MAC championships are right here at UB. And, and interestingly enough, your football coach, Coach Quinn, his son wrestles for Central Michigan, so he'll have some rooting interest too. Yeah, exactly. He coached there in a little bit, you know. And so he has some roots there, and his son's there. But, uh, you know, he's a UB guy, and he'll cheer for every UB guy. I know it. You don't mind if he lets out a couple of yells while his son's rest? No, not at all. Of course not. The state tournaments in Albany, uh, UB recruits all over the state. Looking at the state of wrestling in New York this year, healthy, how would you, how would you classify it? It, it? I think it looks very healthy. I think New York State is one of the top states in the country in our sport uh, as far as the uh, level of the athletes and as far as uh, how many schools there are participating. We're at the top of that as well. And uh, I think there's a lot of excitement about wrestling all around the state of New York. I think it's a great sport for our state.